And yes, the fighters making their way in here already. Luis Navarro inside of the hexagon. Cyrus Fees and Pat Militic here on the call for you as we await Nick Horton. And you just heard a piece about Nick Horton, how exciting he is, you know, to be a part of this. This, of course, being a Young Guns bout, so these are the shining stars, the bright stars that are, of course, ascending here in the XFC. So let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this bout. As you can see, a huge height advantage for Horton, but the reach advantage is on the other side for Lewis Blackzillian Navarro. What a fight we got to kick off the prelims. And let's send it in to the hexagon to get it started with Blake Chadwick. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's fights are sanctioned by the Georgia State Athletic Commission with Matt Woodruff presiding. Tonight's judges are Will Fisher, Ken Coffey, and Northside Nate Mann. Tonight's referees will be Blake Grice and Herb Dean. Your cage side doctors will be Jeff Traub, Chris Horowski, and Andrea Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening bout of XFC 43 live at the historic Tabernacle in Atlanta, Georgia is set in the welterweight division and will be in the XFC Young Guns division with three five minute rounds of action. Introducing first to my left, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands at five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 171 pounds. He is making his professional debut and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Luis Black Zillion Conde Navarro. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This kickboxer and wrestler stands at six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 170 pounds. Also making his professional debut and fighting out of Adrian, Michigan. He is Nick the Hammer. Horton. Referee for this fight, Blake Grice. George Allen is your referee for this contest as we get things started here at XFC 43. It's the Young Guns division here, Pat, and we got to love watching guys like this, guys that are so excited to break into this organization. You know that their hunger, what they're going to put into this fight is going to be insane. And the fact they're both undefeated coming into this fight, 4-0 and 6-0, you don't see that in boxing very often. MMA, MMA, you see it a lot. They're willing to go at it. Luis Navarro there in the white tape there in the black trunks. Nick Horton there in the oh. red tape. And quickly, Nick Horton nearly got the takedown, but a quick scramble, and Navarro's back up. Beautiful inside trip there. Horton's just got to slow him down for a little bit, make him carry his weight, put some big brother muscle on him a little bit because uh, Navarro is an explosive striker. Nick the hammer, Horton there, sitting in the guard of Navarro. All of his last four fights being stoppage victories. And he picked up the Lights Out Championship welterweight title there in that final one. And now posturing up very, very nicely here, Pat. Landed some great shots to the body. That's something you see more out of a veteran, and he's already got those skills. Horton doing a good job. There he is, staying on his back now. Getting a little bit high, does he? There he's trying to smarten up, but Navarro slipping out of that. Nice work and getting the takedown on Horton. <laughs> hey. Young Brazilian getting the takedown on an American wrestler. <laughs> no doubt about it. I like it. Well, a lot of back and forth action here. It's what we expected here out of the matchmaking, and we looked up and down this card. And we examined these fighters, and we knew it was going to be closely contested. Navarro there grabbing onto that single leg. Let's see if he's going to be able to complete it. Picks him up and drops him. Beautiful job. High crotched him, and the fact that Navarro had that guillotine and assisted Horton. Now Horton's got a choke locked up here. He's got the arm trapped. If he can drop that right shoulder hard enough. Just got to be careful not to get his. Yeah, he bailed on it. He did. He looked to go into full mount. Not going to happen. And here comes Navarro. But he's underneath there, Pat. And I think another, he's, he's got, got it. He's got another locked up. 
Super tight choke there. Nice defense by Navarro. Nice job sneaking out of that beautiful job. Well, this is where you have to evaluate whether your submission attempts over and over. Look at this wow. guy. Look at this guy. Beautiful Jeez. takedown. Uh, whether your submission attempts constant, submission attempts are worth the energy. Oh, and here we go. Navarro, he may have something here. He's hanging off the side. He's, yeah, he's off the uh, side. Nick Can get it? But that looks awful tight. The former Tough Enough champion looking to make an impact. Horton trying to strip that hand. Wow. Both guys in such a hurry to finish each other that they keep losing position. Something that my coaching hat would probably be going nuts over right now. <laughs> oh, and he's turning him in there. Another attempt this time from Nick the Hammer Horton. That's and they are just trading attempts here. Pat. That was a little bit of wrestling and jujitsu there. Now he's got that leg locked. Pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Can you keep it this time? Hooking the leg again. You see the expression on the face there of Luis Navarro still hanging in there, still pretty calm. How tight is that, Pat? It looks like he's got him right on the neck, but Left it seems like Navarro's still hanging in. He was able to keep his shoulder away from his own neck to keep that one artery open. So no nap time yet. 90 seconds left here in round number one. And if this is any indication of the action you're going to see on this card, uh, I think this is a beautiful thing because this has been a great war to kick things off here in the welterweight division. I tell you what, I don't want to be a judge judging this one. You know, that's, that's a tough one. Back and forth. He's got him stacked on his hips. That would be a good time to get the neck. Once again, now the too slick is Navarro. Oh, and a big swing, a big right hand there by the hammer. Good face ball. It almost comes off like these guys are perfectly matched. It seems like they can answer each other, whether it be the striking, whether it be the grappling, the wrestling. It's a well-matched fight here. Tried to hit a fireman's carry. And lost position because of it. Big right hands. Those are landing. That could be trouble. George Allen watching very closely. Probably yelling at him about the back of the there head. There it is! Shut okay. it down, put it in the books. Luis Conde Navarro just picked up a win. I love wrestlers. <laughs> you said it perfectly. You got to appreciate that, Pat. Beautiful job getting out of numerous submission attempts. Eating a huge right hand and not even blinking. Let's take a look at this replay. This is where he tries to hit that fireman's carry and bails and loses position. That's something that, you know, most coaches are going to cuss at their athlete about. Just don't go for submissions or, or position that you're, you're going to get yourself in trouble. So he, he lost position. And here's Navarro doing a beautiful job getting out of the choke, keeping composure, not even changing the expression on his face. Look at that. And, hey, and kudos out there for Nick Horton as well. Horton had a nice showing as well. Big smile on the face there with a gesture to go with it there for Luis Conde Navarro. So that's how we kick off XFC 43 with an, an uh, incredible matchup there between a couple of welterweights. I think are going to be making noise all throughout this division here in the XFC. Bright futures for both these guys. Let's set it up to Blake Chadwick with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number one, your winner via TKO in the blue corner, Luis Black Zillion Conde Navarro. Impressive victory there by Luis Conde Navarro, and we, we talked about it, a couple of undefeated fighters here. Now one of those O's had to go, and here it is. There's the finish, Pat. I mean, he was relentless with the ground and pound. And he stood on the gas. He knew the referee could jump in at any time and stop it. They did here. such a good job of defending each other. Back and forth action here. And it, you really wondered who was going to take that advantage. And it was Navarro right here. And like you said, he put the foot on the gas there. And that's how he got that finish. 100%. Horton not defending himself as far as fighting back or trying to get better position. And 
There's a satisfied young man there. Well, the O did not go for Luis Conde Navarro. The Black Zillion stays unbeaten in mixed martial outs.